Hello friends, I'm just going to go over a little review, um, I was, I took the gun apart and I'm making uh, the, uh, the 22 caliber gun as indicated by the title, I took the gun apart and am working on some modifications to it, uh, a little bit of a redesign and I figured I'd go over some stuff while it's apart um, just to show you kind of some of the aspects of it. So the first, I actually have two different barrels. Um, the one pictured here is my second barrel, that's the one I just started making. Uh, here's my first barrel, which just has a single 3 16 hole through to allow the airflow from the QEV in there. Um, this one that I just made has two holes. This hole here is, one second, this hole here is the 3 16 hole and then I forgot what size this one is but in this one I made two holes um, then I reamed the inside of the tube and um, just lightly sanded the outside to make it smooth um, so the reason that I went with two holes on this one obviously is for better flow more airflow into the uh, barrel then here's the slide um, for pushing the pellets in figured I'd just, I don't remember if I did a video of this thing very well, but here it is. Um, it's got the hole drilled in it for the uh, the knob for sliding it back and forth. Um, here's the brass, or sorry, the copper rod for pushing it, the pellet in. And so I figured I'd go over that detail as well. So here, this here is one of the pellets that it fires. This is obviously before being fired. There's the size of it. Um, so what you do is obviously once this is in the gun, you stick the pellet in there. It fits nice and tight. In fact, it's got a ridge there, so it uh, it's kind of hard to pr press in here. But let me see. There we go. And hopefully you'll be able to see this in the video here. That's why I put the white paper behind it. Is the pellet goes in, um, and then it there now it's stuck in the first hole and let's see if I can keep pushing this like I said it is a little bit difficult um, which is a good thing but there you go now this slide has gone all the way into where it would normally seat when it's in the gun and as you can see both the holes the pellet clears both of them just and that's the way it's designed obviously you want it to clear both you want it to be in front of both and not impeding the flow at all and then the copper rod can be seen through both holes and uh, you might be able to see this the edge of the black plastic is actually almost just coming into the uh, the hole here so this plastic part right here is just right there and so the reason that I went with this copper rod is so that first of all this uh, nylatron takes up the whole inside diameter so it seals this area behind the pellet which is good because it's less dead volume but then you need to go with a smaller diameter here so that uh, the air has somewhere to flow because obviously if it were the, the barrel were sealed then the air wouldn't go anywhere um, so yeah that's gonna be almost about it I also wanted to I found some of the pellets and I never showed these in the last video uh, these are just two of the pellets that I found after shooting that laptop in my last video I just kinda wanted to show uh, what it did here there you go just flattened them out quite a bit um, this one really did its job um, so to kind of give you an indication of the power of the gun hopefully at some point here I'll have a uh, um, chronograph so I can see how just how powerful this is I did measure it I have a um, and I should probably get a video of this up I do have a, a pellet rifle like a gamo or gamo um, pellet rifle that's rated at 1100 feet per second and I shot that and then I shot my custom made pellet rifle um, into the same target into the laptop actually and the my homemade one my homemade gun actually produced more visible damage so you know off of that limited test it mine seems to be more powerful than a than a uh, readily available mass manufactured 1100 feet per, sec per second pellet gun. So anyway, uh, enough babbling. I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, 
warmer temperatures on the way so hopefully I'll be getting more good videos out here soon uh, so stay tuned for that there'll be more uh, modifications done to the 22 uh, pellet gun as well so yeah anyway hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you later